from Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Ford Field. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Opening play, and Goff wants to pass it. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. And that's a good job there by the corner. And we do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. First run of the game for Jameer Gibbs, the Alabama product. And he's got a and he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? Not at all. <laughs> I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school. And one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come down field hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Two yards to go, second down. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Steps away. And that's to Alvin Lawson Brown. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 23 yards to pick up there. They will run for the first time with David Montgomery. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. A gain of three, second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there. On places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Goff now to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost him. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. Well, now they'll try the end around. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. So here's a third and 14. Here's Young. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Young to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allowed to convert on fourth and long. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Miles Sanders. 
A 15-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Great call to hand that one off, and his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly, and on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 42. Great return. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. To throw is gone. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. He won't find a ton of space following the display of power as he's down just inside the 45. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Second and seven. Gone. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Amari Barno. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -to -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Ball on the 27. Here's a second and eight. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. And we all can talk about defensive ends setting the edge, sometimes even the outside linebackers, but how about here? This is a quarterback essentially setting the edge and finishing off that play for a loss. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. On play action, Young. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Kirby Joseph. And the Lions are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. 
hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. After the interception, here's Goff. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production... <laughs> Gibbs straight ahead. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Third and five. From the gun, here's Gone. He's got it to Williams. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, Gone. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Panthers are going to take over here up near the 40. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. The last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not quite no harm, no foul, but the interception, hey, shake it off, move on. It hasn't cost your team the lead, and now it's time to rebound. And the quarterback and his teammates, they can add to the lead with a good drive here. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. And that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. Game clock sitting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Lions touchdown. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. Goff looking to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but it was a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. They go play action. Young. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown. DJ Chark. 59 yards. And the Panthers are able to strike shy of the 30-yard line. Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see thing Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Third and a yard. A shotgun snap for Goff. That is caught. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Defense was thinking run and their delta pass of just under 20 yards. On first down, it's gone. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. 
and what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Five yards, now it's third and five. The Lions now gonna use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Off play action, here's Goff. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Dante Jackson picks it, and the Panthers will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range. This is caught inside the 15. 